My friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at Vera's Hex Plus L key set. These hex keys have a feature that no other hex key or L key has that makes this extremely unique and in my opinion, probably the best L keys that you can possibly get hands down. When I purchased these, I got these in uh, imperial sizes and in metric sizes. As you can see, uh, they're color coded, which is supposed to allow for easy identification. Pardon my chicken. Um, and they come with this uh, storage container here. I wouldn't really call it a container, but it's some type of plastic. It feels really durable. It feels more like, uh, like a rubbery type of plastic. And uh, as you can see, this hinge here, it's, it's extremely flexible. I'm not sure exactly what type of plastic uh, it is, but uh, it, it certainly seems durable. I'm sure over time, this is gonna get pretty loose uh, and get real floppy, but as for now, uh, it works pretty good. So uh, removing one of the L keys, as you can see, the writing on the L key itself is supposed to be wear resistant and this, this plastic coating over top of it is some kind of thermoplastic, uh, which is supposed to be really, really tough. It, it's kind of slippery. It's not really grippy, but apparently the writing, you know, in the, the plastic is supposed to be pretty durable stuff. I haven't had any issues and I haven't seen where the, the writing on the L key is wearing off or anything like that. And I have been using these, uh, probably not as much as I would like to, but I definitely have been using them and I haven't noticed any issues with any of the writing wearing off or the size markings or um, any issues with the plastic really, other than it's slippery. Now with this particular L key set, you know, it's uh, it, it's a longer L key. It's not like the smaller L keys you would get obviously. So you can get a ton of torque when you're trying to loosen or tighten a fastener. Of course it has the ball in where you can uh, get into weird angles and unfasten a screw and that is extremely handy but that's nothing unique what is unique about these l keys is the actual drive so the profile of these hex keys each side is concaved and i'll put a graphic up in the video to give you a closer look at what that looks like um, and it has it on both sides the ball end and of course the straight end, that profile does allow you to grip uh, the socket cap screws a lot better than your traditional L keys that you get, you know, in socket sets or, you know, whatever. I have a ton of other L key options and I'll kind of show you the difference in the pros and cons of these. So of course we have these these are uh, folding hex key sets. Then of course, you know, you have your, your hex bits that you could chuck up in a drill. Uh, and then you have, you know, just these basic everyday hex key sets that, you know, you get with virtually everything. With each one of these, you know, there, there is, you know, a negative. So these fold up hex key sets, while, you know, these are really awesome to have because they're really compact. And of course you get all your hex keys you know, right there folded up. Uh, a lot of these come in these plastic cases, which, you know, they don't stand up over time. So you can't really torque these really hard because of the hinge, you know, you without eventually snapping it. And then of course you don't have the ball in. So unless you're at a perfect angle, uh, you're not gonna be able to get at that uh, cap screw without shredding the cap screw up. These, of course, are okay. Uh, you know, they work just fine, but once you start torquing really hard with these, two things are gonna happen. You're either gonna cam it out and tear up the cap screw, or you're gonna end up, you know, rounded off the sides on the actual key itself. And then, of course, these bits, they do hold up pretty well. Like, this is a Milwaukee. Um, but, you know, again, you still will at times, you can cam out and, you know, you, you don't have the advantage of having that, that ball end. 
Now, Wera is not the only Elki that has that ball end. However, they are the only Elki that has that specific profile. And I have used these on cammed out cap screws and they most certainly grip better. To me, uh, even the cammed out uh, cap screws that you cannot turn over tightened, that you can't turn with a normal L key, these have no problem gripping it. All right, so what we have here is, is we have two socket cap screws. One is quite chowdered up, uh, pretty cammed up and chowdered out. And then the other one looks to be, you know, obviously it's in good shape. So that's the two socket cap screws. Now the advantage of the Hex Plus is with these cammed out socket cap screws, you're still supposed to be able to be able to get a good enough purchase to be able to uh, use the tool and get the fastener out. So let's see if there is a difference. So here is a five millimeter. This is just a regular old cheap L key. And let's see how this works. literally can't it won't even seat in there look at that it just completely chowdered out all right let's try the hex plus let's see how that works so you can already see there's a better fit no problem it's even, not a problem at all. Yeah, so let's take this screw out real quick. Let's look at the fit with the Hex Plus. So, I mean, you can see this thing is really chowdered out. And the Hex Plus still, still grabs it. Let's look at this other hex key and you can see how much play there is now this is a cheaper l key you know so keep that in mind it's not a bondus or you know some high quality l key uh, but you know that that does show the difference between that design and your normal flat wall design of an l key all right so to compare a couple other of the five millimeter hex keys and, and the fit. Uh, let's take a look at the Stanley fold-up set. As you can see, there's a lot of play in there. That is the five millimeter right here. And as you can see, there's a good bit of wobble in there. <laughs> Uh, this is another cheaper one I have. This is a five millimeter as well. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, five millimeter. And this one actually seems to fit a little bit better than the Stanley. And, and then the Hex Plus. You can actually see where the corners are actually in contact with the corners of the cap screw. So if I kind of get a little closer there, you see how there's a little space right there? And then there's connection where the corners are. That is what is important about this profile and design is that the corners, they make full contact with each corner. So that's what give, gives these the ability to be a little more, a little more grippy and a little more grabby uh, and, and overall gives you a better purchase on the fastener. Yeah, so overall, uh, I really like this hex key set. I think this is probably one of the best ones on the market. Now, there are some other high quality uh, hex key brands and manufacturers. Bondus is a really well known hex key manufacturer. They make some really good keys, but you know, they don't have this hex plus technology, which 
I think was what sets these apart from anything else. I don't care who it is. Uh, PB Swiss, Viha, it doesn't matter. Another really important thing that Vera does is, is they also include with their bit check system, hex plus. These hex drivers are also hex plus as well. And I like that they're including that with, you know, their bit checks and their bits and things like that. Pretty much any of the hex drive tools that Vera has, uh, they are incorporating this hex plus. They do have a patent on it so nobody else can use it. And I think that it's a, it's a game changer as far as L keys are concerned. I mean, the grip that you get with these L keys is, is far superior to what you would get with traditional hex drive. But that's all that I have for you guys today. I definitely want to thank you all for stopping by. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoy the content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Also, if you're interested in these, they run between $35 and $45, depending on when you get them. Uh, my affiliate link for KC Tool will be down in the description below if you want to go check those out. But that's all I have for you guys today. I will see you all on the next one. Peace.